Well, hey guys, it's DR Drake 63 here today, and uh, I'm going to do a, a brief video on something I totally wasn't planning on doing, uh, and uh, and that is having a, having a uh, colossal failure with a, with an AR uh, that that I was working on for a friend. Uh, the failure, I believe, is uh, associated with uh, my installation and adjustment uh, of. Uh, a gas block that was an adjustable gas block going on a, uh, a carbine length AR-15 um, 556. Now, personally, not going to run a silencer on it. He wasn't going to do anything. Um, personally, I wouldn't have, have, have specced an adjustable gas block for this. I've run, run for years, run just standard gas blocks, low profile gas blocks on ARs. Uh, no problems. You know, never, never had any problems at all. The system's designed, the ammo's within spec. There's really not a, a, a need to do that. Uh, again, on a on a 16-inch barrel, uh, carbine length or or mid-length gas system, just doesn't make any sense. Well, the rifle in question is a Ruger AR556. My friend wanted to take the fixed front sight off and put a free float handrail on it. This is something I've done many times. We're not going to get into how to do that or any of that in this video, uh, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, the failure and hoping that, that I can get some feedback, maybe from some guys that know more about this. Uh, it involves a JP uh, adjustable gas block. It's the kind where you've got a set screw at a, uh, a adjustment screw. And uh, the instructions say, screw it all the way in, back it out one full turn, use the set screw to hold it in place. So we did that and um, had absolutely no cycling at all. It was just a, a single shot rifle. Didn't even pretend that it wanted to eject or cycle. So took it out another turn and here's what happened. Not worth the shit, I guess. This is what I'm getting, so I'm guessing it needs more gas, huh? So you can see that, that yes, uh, it did start to eject, but it wasn't uh, bringing the bolt back far enough to pick up that next round and cycle properly. So, what do we do? Took it out about another uh, three quarters uh, of a turn, three quarter to a full turn. And uh, it, it worked like so. So far, so good, bud. Now, looking at that last video, I'm tempted to look at the uh, direction in which the shells were ejecting and they were between three and four o'clock uh, from what I can see, which is about where you want your gas pressure to be. So I wouldn't be tempted to think it's over gassed. Um, realized that I had one round left, uh, put it in the magazine, inserted the magazine, closed the bolt, shot it, and here's what happened. What you're gonna see next is, is I didn't have this on tape, uh, but the result was uh, what I'll call a, a, a near catastrophic failure. Could have been, I could have been hurt uh, very badly. Uh, could, have, could have had any number of things happen, but you'll see that something went wrong. So we're looking at what I'm gonna call a uh, colossal failure with an AR. Uh, that is due to uh, an over adjustment with an, an adjustable JP556 gas block. And I'll talk about the over adjustment and why it sure didn't seem like it would be. And uh, I'm not here to pick on anybody, but uh, I'm just very glad that uh, I didn't get hurt. Because this is... 
this is part of what used to be a bolt carrier group. You can see that wedge down in there. And um, personally, a 5.56 five, adjustable gas block is uh, solving a problem that doesn't exist in a, in a carbine length firearm, but uh, it was not something that I selected. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, see uh, what's salvageable here. What I spec is that the uh, spec the upper receiver at minimum needs replaced. Obviously, the bolt carrier group. Beyond that, we shall see. I'd have to say it didn't do this uh, magazine any good either. So that's the, the top of the magazine, and that's the bottom. I've never seen anything like this. So uh, when, that, uh, when that gas bolt failed, it blew everything straight down out of the bottom. Fortunately, there was only one round in here when it happened. Um, ouch. But it looks like we're going to be able to salvage... Uh, we'll check the condition of the barrel. A little bit concerned about it, but we'll take this barrel nut off. Um, this is the gas block in question. And the, the thing that's frustrating is that uh, we had this uh, purse back all the way in, back out a full turn. And uh, it did not cycle anything. It was just a single shot. So we backed it out another turn and a half. Um, uh, it was enough to at that point um, eject around but didn't go far back enough to pick up the next round so we took it out another full turn and um, that's what resulted in not only too much but catastrophic overgassing at that point you know I, I don't want to blame these guys but it did happen using their stuff and I did follow their directions uh, as far as I knew so the good news is this lower receiver uh, is fine. I don't see any, any problems with it. Reusable, which is good, because that's the, that's the harder part to get. But this, uh, this bulk group is a hot mess. Uh, I'm just very fortunate that uh, I was not hurt while test firing this. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what other parts of this uh, of this rifle are going to be salvageable. But that right there, that that's just not good. As Larry the Cable Guy says, I don't care who you are, that's not good. So I'm very interested in any feedback. There's a lot of you out there watching that are going to know a lot more about AR builds than I have. I've done tens of them, and I've not had problems. Gas systems, like I said, I've just always stuck to fixed non-adjustable gas blocks for 5.56 five, uh, for mid-length and carbine length systems and haven't had any problems. It's all mil-spec stuff. So, any ideas, any thoughts of what might have caused this to happen? I'm open to anything. Um, uh, my ego won't be hurt, but I'm very interested to hear from you guys what might have been the problem here. So I appreciate it. This is DR Drake 63. Looking forward to your comments.